Hey, what's up you guys? Bring another action figure review to you and this is a review um that I never made. Uh well, obviously. What I meant was this is a figure that I never did a review on. Um there's quite there's quite a few figures that I've never did reviews on, but this is one true diamond in the rough. Um, this is a figure that I have loved for a long time. Um, this has been the only penguin in my collection. Uh, I would probably say ever, but I probably had a couple of low rent penguin figures as a kid. Maybe a McDonald's version or, you know, another cheap kind of version. I don't know, but, but from what I can remember of having like a true penguin like you know as a collector um, this has been it for me um, the Arkham City penguin has been my definitive penguin in my collection um, there's been other penguin figures out there but I never felt the need um, to collect it because this penguin figure has been so good and it's been so good to me um and it is just um it's just a great figure that has lasted me a long time and it's um you know it's aged very well for me and it's a penguin figure that is just um fantastic um and i have enjoyed him having him in my collection for years so i guess you're wondering to yourself why am i making this review now well mcfarlane recently came out with a uh, classic but kind of modern penguin figure a comic book version and that's something i've always wanted as much as i love this penguin and i do i love it to death but i've always wanted a comic book version of the penguin and I will soon have it. I bought it, um, and um, I will be reviewing it soon, as soon as I get it. And um, that penguin will replace this penguin, sadly. Um, it does make me sad because I've loved this penguin for so long, and it's it's lasted me so long, and it's been such a great figure for so long. It's been in my collection for so long. It's been my definitive penguin for so long. So, um you know i mean i'm you know i still could sit him in my collection you know of course but i don't really have arkham figures really you know most of my batman figures are comic book based the majority of them so i mean i wouldn't really have anywhere to sit him in my collection in my batman collection that is um i mean i could just sit him there just for argument's sake but um, you know, sometimes I'm weird. So, <laughs> but I mean, am I always going to keep him? Yes, yes, I'm always going to keep him. I just I love this figure too much, and um, yeah, this figure really means a lot to me. Um, I was starting to doubt if we would ever get a comic book uh, penguin. A part of me always knew that McFarlane would make one eventually. It was just a matter of when. You know, and he finally has. So, you know, there you have it. So let's get into this figure. It is a fantastic figure, and I love this figure a lot. So let me explain why. First of all, the details on him is fantastic. Look at his shoes, the awesome shoes there. You, you see his coat. Well, there's his hand right there. You see his gloved hand right here, which is very accurate to the game. Um, this is Arkham City Penguin um, from the video game, Batman Arkham City. So for those of you who play the game, you already know. You, you already know the deal. The coat is the coat is uh, very accurate. Got his little ascot that he's wearing there. Everything he's wearing here is accurate from the video game. And it is awesome. I love his umbrella. Let's get into that for a second. He holds it very securely. I love that as well. Let's get into this umbrella for a minute and just look at the detail on this. First of all, look at the paint. There was no cheaping out. There was no skimping out. 
Um, I never got that good of a look at his umbrella in the game. I've played the game like a hundred times, but I never really got a good look at his umbrella. But I'm going to take a wild guess and say since the rest of this figure is pretty accurate, I'm going to take a wild guess and say that this umbrella is accurate. That's what that's what my guess is. My guess is, is that this umbrella is accurate. It is accurate to the game. And look, you got a little. Now I don't know if that's a gold splotch. That's a mistake, or if they're just being accurate to the game. Once again, I'm gonna go out on a limb and just say they're being accurate to the game. This little gold dot right here. You, you got the nice wrinkles throughout the umbrella. It's really impressive. You even got um, the gold paint here on the end of the umbrella, which is fantastic. You got the little notch there. You got more wrinkles. You. You got the gold, you got the gold mixed with this chrome silver throughout, and then you got the red painted eyes. And already I can tell you I've seen the McFarlane umbrella with the comic book penguin. I'll probably compare both penguins once I get the McFarlane comic book penguin. I'll most likely compare them, but I can I can already tell you this is a better umbrella. Cause McFarlane did a Arkham City penguin. And it's not as good as this one. Now, is it a nice figure? Yes, it is. I'm not knocking it. But it's not as good as this one. First of all, the hat is removable. <laughs> That's right. The hat is removable. Um, and mostly through the game, Cobblepot is, you know, walking around like this without his hat. And also what's awesome is this glass piece that's welded into his eye. You can see through it. Which is also accurate to the game. You know what McFarlane did? McFarlane didn't do that. He cheaped out. He's a cheapskate. He cheaped out and he just put a little gray cap right here where you can't even see his eye. So already, you already catch my drift. You get what I'm saying? I also like the head sculpt here. Um, I just, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I like the head sculpt here. I like it a lot. Get a close up on that. I like it. I like it a lot. Nice flesh tone. He has a little thing there in his neck. I'm guessing that that helps him to breathe. Nice bald head. Nice little hair on the back and the sides. That's all great. Love that. I love the fur and the coat. I love the details in his coat. You got nice details here. And you get this nice sculpting through the fur. It does not feel cheap. It doesn't feel like cheap plastic. McFarlane figures do. And I love McFarlane figures, but they feel like cheap plastic. This has weight to it, believe it or not. Believe it or not. You wouldn't believe this figure have weight to it, but you actually have to have it in your hand to feel the weight of this figure. It's not heavy by any means, but he has weight to him. And that just makes you, it makes you feel good to let you know that this just isn't a hunk of cheap plastic. You see his fingers here, like I mentioned the glove before, very accurate to the game. This is how he holds his umbrella. You have his open hand right here. You got more fur on the wrist. You know, all this is painted, painted very nicely and sculpted. This is painted and sculpted, the fur through the jacket and through his vest piece or sweater or whatever he's wearing right here the pants has very nice wrinkles to them i love the shoes i love the shoes i absolutely love the shoes very accurate to the game as well i give mcfraw on that he did do this i think so you got nice pockets here so this is a very good figure and for a long time I've kept this penguin for a reason I kept him for a reason because this is an outstanding figure DC collectibles I mean they were just on the money back in the day they were doing things that McFarlane obviously is not doing now so well his hat fell off you know sometimes you gotta Put his hat on there just right. It's not as easy. Um, but, um, you know, I'll leave it up for the sake of the rest of the, rest of the review. So, um, you ain't going to get much articulation out of this. 
There's nothing in the waist, right? Oh, no, there's something in the waist. Oh, I was wrong there. He got a little something in the waist there. A little twist, a little waist twist there. But you cannot move his legs at all. His legs is static like a statue. But I don't care. I don't have a problem with that. This is Oswald Cobblepot. You're not trying to get dynamic poses out of him. He has rotation in the arms. It can rotate out. It cannot bend. It's just in a static bending uh, pose. You cannot bend it or move it. But like I said, you can rotate it. And you can move it out. And there's nothing in the feet either. So if you're wondering, you can rotate his head. And that's pretty much about it for the articulation. I was surprised that he had something in his waist. That was a surprise. For years, I never knew that. So I learned something new about this figure. Unbelievable. But this is an unbelievable figure. This is a fantastic figure. And it is a classic. Um, in my opinion, I would say... Instead of getting the McFarlane version of Arkham City, in my opinion, I would say get this version. Because it's the superior version. It just is. It is the superior version. The sculpting is better. The paint is better. Um, you may get a little bit more articulation with the McFarlane Penguin, I think. Um, but you can't beat this figure. This figure is absolutely outstanding. And um, for me, it's timeless. Um, I will never look at this figure and think that this figure is out of date, even though it is. But I will never view it that way because it is just an outstanding figure. This is just one of those figures that stands the, the, stands the test of time. And... Um, it is a fantastic figure and I would have forever kept this as my penguin if McFarlane never came out with a comic book version this would have been my forever penguin if Mezco would have came out with a penguin I probably wouldn't have got it either because that's just too much money to pay for penguin I mean I love penguin but you know if Mezco would have did it I wouldn't have jumped I would have kept this one if any other company Mayfax any other company did a penguin uh, maybe they have and maybe I just don't know but I would not have jumped on it. This would have been my forever penguin. Um, but from what I saw of the McFarlane penguin that's based on the comic books, um, it looks fantastic. And, you know, I really wanted a comic book penguin in my collection, even though I love this penguin to death. So I'm going to give this penguin a 9.5 out of 10. This is an excellent figure. Like I said, um, my choice, if you were to ask me, which penguin should you get? Which Arkham City penguin you should get? This one or the McFarlane? If you want to get the McFarlane one, it is cheaper right now on eBay. <laughs> like, dirt cheap. Like, 20 bucks or less. So, if that's the route you want to go, I say fine. You know, to save yourself from some money. But if you want to get this penguin, if you want, like, the true Arkham City penguin... This penguin is it. The DC Collectibles one is the one to get, in my opinion. So that's my review, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Look forward to my penguin review from the McFarlane um, comic book version. Hope you enjoyed this review. Hope you found it informative. And until the next time, guys, see ya.